if you are an individual who has crystals or you have heard of crystals or you have studied the existence of crystals you will know or you will have heard that the rose quartz is the crystal of unconditional love what is unconditional love unconditional love is the law of the universe how do we know this jesus christ came down to this planet and taught everybody about unconditional love unconditional love is the ability to love anything and everything and not show a single sign of negativity or hatred towards that thing regardless of what happens and so as it says in the bible when jesus christ was slapped or i think jesus christ mentions that if somebody slaps you then turn the other cheek that is a pure and a classic example of unconditional love. If somebody shows you hatred, if somebody is aggressive towards you, if somebody proceeds to act violently towards you, and if you can ignore that and turn the other cheek and forgive that person, you are living in times of unconditional love. You are living in the vibration of unconditional love. What does this mean for you as a soul, as an individual? This means you are evolving. In fact, this means you are advanced as a soul. Because this entire universe exists under the laws of unconditional love. And so this is why there are negative beings who reside on this planet. The very same beings who murdered Jesus Christ. These beings exist to teach us lessons. Okay? So if you experience negativity from an individual, from a person, from a soul, from somebody else, that person might be a negative being. However, if you can forgive that person, then you will evolve as a soul and you will be rewarded without you even knowing. This is what we are doing here on earth. And this explains why there are so many negative things happening on earth. So many negative things that have happened in the past. Things that have been aggravated or created by these negative beings well if you are an advanced soul if you know and understand what we are doing here on earth you will simply turn the other cheek and you will forgive these negative beings you will act like they don't exist these negative beings will try to distract you and deter you from your path and if you are advanced as a soul then these negative beings will target you as I myself have been targeted by these negative beings. And I'm laughing because I went through a phase where I was targeted to the point where it was almost, I almost felt abused by these negative beings. And I didn't have anybody to turn to at the time. But what I did was I went inside and I forgave them. And for a moment, I had to act like they didn't exist. In fact, what I had to do was blame myself for everything. This is part of the lessons of unconditional love and forgiveness. I had to blame myself for everything that was happening to me that was being created by these negative beings. And by blaming myself, I allowed myself to go inside to acknowledge that everything was my fault and I forgave myself for the things that were happening. And for, by forgiving myself, I actually forgave these negative beings. And so if you can do this, if you can act in loving ways, even if you are shown hatred and aggression, then you are doing everything you are supposed to be doing as a soul on this planet. Once again, Unconditional love is the law of the universe. These are the lessons that we came here to learn. The existence of these negative beings can only last so long. This is why Earth is the last place where these negative beings exist. There was a time in our universe, in our galaxy, where these negative beings were everywhere, just like positive beings. However, what the positive beings have done, what you and I have done, is we have managed to concentrate these negative beings to, to this planet alone. And these negative beings won't last forever. It is said that if you are a negative being, then 
eventually you have to turn to the positive side because if all the positive beings learn all the lessons they are supposed to learn, then the existence of these negative beings isn't needed in the universe, in the galaxy. And when that happens, it will be time for these negative beings to turn positive. However, what's happening on the planet is that these negative beings that are left here on the earth, the last of the negative beings, don't want to turn to the positive side. They are refusing. They don't want to share love and happiness. They don't want to forgive. They don't want to live in the vibration of unconditional love. They want to continue radiating negativity. However, the people of the earth are awakening to who they are. And the people of the earth are all choosing to live in the vibrations of love. The people of the earth are choosing the path of ascension. The people of the earth want to go to the fifth dimension. And so what's going to happen to these negative beings is they will be simply eradicated. Their souls will be, will be recycled. And when they awaken, wherever they awaken in the universe or whatever reality they find themselves in, they will have forgotten who they were when they were perpetrating negative things on the earth. And it's a bit of a sad story, but that's the position we find ourselves in now as we approach the great solar flash. This is the end. It's happening, people. Thank you for checking in today's video.